Welcome to the morning prayer meeting. If you have the Bible, look at the book of uh, 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 1 to 20. 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 1 to 20. 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 1 to 20. There was a certain man from Ramatham, uh, Jabutai, from huge country of Ephraim, whose name was uh, Elkanah, son of uh, Jeroham, the son of uh, Elihu, the son of uh, Tohu, the son of uh, Jupa, and Amrite, uh, Ephraimite. He had uh, two wives. One was called Hannah and other called uh, Punina. Punina had uh, children, but Hannah had none. Can you see that Elkanah, he has got uh, two wives. One Hannah, one is uh, Punina. Year after year, this man went up from his town to worship and sacrifice to the Lord Almighty at Shiloh. Well, uh, Homni and Punyas, the two sons of Eli, were priests of the Lord. Whenever the day came for Elkanah to sacrifice, he would give a portion of the meat to his wife uh, Punina and to all her sons and daughters. But Hannah, he gave a dub, sorry, double portion because of uh, he loved her, and the Lord closed her womb. This is a problem. Who is the one to close the Hannah's womb? Mm -hmm. Lord God. This is a, that is why we have to understand that God is in control. God is in control. Good or bad, God is in control. Of course, you may say Satan is uh, attacked you or whatever, but Satan is still in, in, in the hands of God. You understand? The Lord God closed her womb. And look at the verse 6. And because of the Lord had closed her womb, her uh, liver kept uh, provoking her in order to irritate her. This went on year after year. Whenever Hannah went up to the house of the Lord, her uh, uh, liver provoked, uh, provoked her till she wept and would not eat. You see? Can I encourage you? Sometimes, two times, uh, you have some struggle, like uh, this woman, Hannah. Hannah, she was uh, suffering because of what? She hasn't got the children, but Punina, she provoking Hannah. Put in that she has got the many children. But Hannah, she hasn't got any children. Can you imagine? Who is in control in that circumstance? Almighty God. God is the one. <coughs> God is the one. <coughs> God is the one to control everything. Not somebody. God is the one. But Elkanah, her husband, would say to her, Hannah, why are you weeping? Why don't you eat? Why are you downhearted? Don't I mean more to you than ten sons? Can you imagine Alkana, Hannah's husband, say to her, you know, I'll give you double portion. You are more precious than the ten sons. But for her, it's, it doesn't matter. Do you understand that? And then look at verse 9. Once when they had finished eating and drinking in Shiloh, Hannah stood up. And now Eli, the priest, was sitting on a chair by the doorpost of the Lord's temple. In bitterness of her soul, Hannah wept much and prayed to the Lord. This is very important. You know, she cried to God, Lord, I, I have trouble now. 
She come before the Lord and pray. Do you understand? When you have a struggle, when you have pain, come to the Lord and pray. Like this woman, Hannah, she prayed. In the bitterness of her soul, Hannah. Hannah prayed like this. And she made a vow, saying, Oh Lord God, if you will only look upon your servant in misery, and remember me, and not forget your servant, but give her son. Then I will give him to the Lord for all the days of his life, and no larger will ever be used on this head. Do you understand? This is nice reading. He said, she said to God, she promised you to God, she vowed, Oh God, if you give me son, we never cut his hair. This son is a special son for you. If you give me son, I'll give you the son for you. He'll follow you all the days of his life. That is the, her statement. She pray like that. Do you understand? She provoking by Punina. And her life is, a, is a terrible. She hasn't got any hope. She was in powerless, hopeless. Yeah? But even her husband is in Elkanah say to her, You are better than ten sons. But for her, <laughs> nothing meaningful. And then this is a very important verse twelve. One Samuel chapter one, verse twelve, and she kept on praying. To the Lord, Ellie observed her mouth. Can you keep on praying? And she kept on praying to the Lord. Never give up. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It's very important to keep on praying. My dear brothers, keep on praying. Can you keep on praying? I keep on praying. Because our church hall is uh, so small now. Because of the so many people coming now. Too much crowd coming. Oh God, help us. Lord, help us. We need your grace. Lord, help us. Lord, keep on praying to the Lord like this woman Hannah. Good news for her when she was a struggle, what she does, she come to the Lord. Yeah, if you have a struggle, something problem in your life, do you come to man or come to God? Yeah. Come to God, come to Jesus. Where does my help come from? The Lord who made heaven and earth. The Lord God is your helper. He will help you. He will deliver you. Look at verse 13. Hannah was praying in her heart. You see, now Hannah was praying in her heart. And her lips were moving, but her voice was not heard. Early dawn, she was drunk. Do you understand? If you're so desperate, you pray. Do you know what happened? Your tongue is moved. Your tongue moved. Your tongue moved. Tongue moved. But no sound. How many of you, 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 you have experience like that? Your tongue move, but no sound. Can you imagine? This was happening, this woman. She was desperate. Yeah? She prayed to God, petitioned to God, fervent prayer. She cried out. My dear brothers and sisters, can you cry out to God like this woman, Hannah? Anna prayed and prayed and prayed. And look what was happening. You know, early the priest said to her, Don't drunk. Look, verse 14. And he said to her, How long will you keep on getting drunk? Get rid of your wine. <laughs> Some people misunderstand here. Some people, they don't understand what you are doing. They thought you are crazy, man. Yeah. Do you understand? 
long journey from here to South Hall, around one and a half now. It's one, one hour, 40 minutes. In Russia, so almost two hours journey. We went there to preach the gospel. Yesterday, 61 souls came to Lord Jesus. And some people preach the gospel, some people painting and then, you know, put the laminate on the floor. You did it very well. You saw the light. Eh? <laughs> what did you see? Oh, yeah, they got, yeah, they yeah, can see it. But this is a non normal. Her mouth moving, but nothing. That is why the priest early say to her, How long will you keep on get drinking? Stop. Get rid of your wine. Not so, my lord, Hannah replied. I am a woman who is deeply troubled. I have not been drinking wine or beer. I was pouring out <coughs> my soul to the Lord. This is very important. I was pouring out my soul to the Lord. Pour out your heart to the Lord. Pour out your soul to the Lord. Don't take your servant for wicked woman. I have been praying here out of my great anguish and grief. She knows how to pray. She knows how to express her heart. Do you know how to express your heart? You need to know how to express your heart. Like this woman, Hannah. Hannah, she pour out her heart, her soul to the Lord. She said, I've been praying here out of my great anguish and grief. She will pray like that. And do you know what Eli, this is early priest, early answered? Go in peace. May the God of Israel grant you what you have asked of him. Even the early is no good priest. Can you imagine? Even God used the, you know, like wicked priest to telling the truth. <laughs> Go in peace. The God of Israel will answer you. I, God wants to say to you now, go in peace. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. God of Israel grant to you what you ask for, anything in Jesus' name, amen. amen. He will answer you. And she said, may your servant find favor in your eyes. Then she went her way and it uh, at something, and her face was no longer downcast. <coughs> her face was no more downcast. Is amazing healing, amazing deliverance, amazing God's answer. Yeah. And then, was night early next morning, they arose and worshipped before the Lord, and then went back to their home at Lama. And Kana lay with Hannah, his wife, and the Lord remembered her. Can you say, after me, Lord remembered her? Once again, Lord remembered me. Lord yeah, this is the good news. Yeah. If the Lord God remember you, if the Lord God remember your family and children, the Lord God remember you. And what was happening? Yeah, this is the good news. When the Lord remembered her, so in the course of time, Hannah conceived and gave birth to a son. She named him Samuel saying, because of I ask the Lord for him. What is the meaning of Samuel? Because I ask of the Lord. I ask the Lord for him. Ask. You shall? Receive. Seek. You shall? Knock. The door will be opened to you. Ask and seek and knock. This woman, do you know, be honest with you, your life sometimes two times like Hannah's life. What should you do? You need to return to God. <coughs> Come to God. Do you know what is what is signal for you when God wants to call in you? God say, Come, come, return to me. Look at Hosea. 
book of Hosea, chapter 14. Hosea chapter 14, verse 1 and 2. Hosea chapter 14, verse 1 and 2. Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. Your sins have been your downfall. Take the word <coughs> with you and return to the Lord. And say to him, Forgive all our sins and receive us graciously. That you may offer the fruit of our lips. What I say to you now, return to me. Can you return to God now? Yeah? He say to you, return, come to me, my dear brothers and sisters. When? When shall you return? Yeah. Now. Now. Is it good news or bad news? When you return to God, it's good news. When you return to God, you have everything. When you return to God, you know how to overcome. Yeah. This is my prayer for people of UK. 67 million people, <coughs> they need to return to Jesus. Amen? Amen. These people need to return to Jesus. You know, we are like the John the Baptist in South Hall yesterday. <laughs> you know, repent your sins, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Return to Jesus. Return to God of Israel. But did you see there in some Hindu temple? We saw the Hindu temple, we saw the Sikh temple, all the Muslim, or did you see there some Muslim teenager girls? What did this teenager girl say to you, Brother Mark? No, they, they didn't understand the Trinity. Yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah. There's a main common question by Muslims. How? You know, three gods, <laughs> God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, they never understand. But you can tell them the truth. In the beginning, God made a heaven and earth. Also, when God made the people, do you know how God made the people? What God say? Let us. Let us make a human being in what? Our images. Who is our? Trinity, God the Father and Son and Holy Spirit. And you can show the Bible for these Muslim children. This is a common question. And then, you know, they never heard about the in our image. Why God say the in our image? You can see. Before the creation of the world, before anything, God say, oh, did you? In, the, in our image, God the Father and Son and Holy Spirit. Even book of Isaiah, chapter 6, verse 8. Do you know what God say? Whom shall we she, whom shall, uh, send? Who will go for us? Who are the us? Three, two, again. Do you understand? Even when Jesus say, when you give the baptize you, baptize you in the name of what? Father and Son and Holy Spirit. Can you see that? This Sunday we have a water baptism. You give the water baptism in the name of Father and Son and Holy Spirit. Trinity. But this good news, return to the God of Israel. You come here. Yeah. You return to God. Yeah. But Jeremy, he was in Utah, in America. He returned to the Lord Jesus in London. <laughs> Return. I said, come, return, return. This is the God's message I say to you guys. Always return to me. When you're trouble, return to me. If anybody happy, return to God. If anybody happy, sing song to the Lord, which means return to God. If anybody trouble, pray. What does it mean pray? Return to God. Same message actually. I can read for you book of Book of uh, James, Book of James, chapter five. James chapter five, verse thirteen say, "Is any one of you in trouble? He should pray." What does it mean? Return to me. If anyone happy, let him sing songs of praise. What does it mean? Let him sing songs of praise. Mean return to the Lord. Sings and songs to whom? God of Israel, therefore you need to come to him and sing and worship him God. If anybody in trouble, he should return to God and then pray. 
Therefore, in any your life, any situation, 24-7, every moment, you have to return to God. In other words, you need to dwell in the presence of the Lord. Enter his gate with what? Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving and praise. praise. Yeah. Thanksgiving in his presence, in his courtyard. Worship him and praise him. And tomorrow, Pastor Aziz, go back to Chandigwa and India. And uh, we saw the, it's like a little India in South Hall. <laughs> so <laughs> many. <laughs> I, I, I didn't see the one, one English. Well, English is, is an English guy, is a homeless. <laughs> can, you, <laughs> can you imagine? English guy is homeless in South Hall, in Indian, in, in little India. But it's a land of the UK. But I think uh, we have to go more often to preach the gospel for Indians. They don't know where to go. Can you imagine? They used to worship the, the Hindu God. They worship the, 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 the Allah, not our God. Unfortunately, they are blind. We can help them, encourage them, support for them, to bless them, who Jesus is. Let us return to the Lord. Return to the Lord. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. Now is the time to return to you. Whenever we return to God, we get a solution. Like this woman, Anna. Anna received the gotcha answer, and she got uh, Samuel. Samuel, he was in the middle between the age of judges and the age of monarchy. There was no king at the time, but somewhere he's the one to preach man. Wonderful man of God. When God used the Hannah, God answered her prayer. Would you answer for us? Answer for us. We return to you, and Hannah return to God. Whenever we return to the God of Israel, we will receive the best of the best for your glory, more than expect our expectation more than our inquiry. You answer for your children, for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Keep on praying for mission to Africa on the 25th of November to 7th of December. And I'm going to the uh, Wales. I preach the gospel in the Wales area and in Newport, that area. Please keep on praying for us. Thank you.